Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, what is the best way to check if a given object is a synthetic event? Let's break down the question. Currently, some developers peek into the internals of React, checking if an object has a native event property. But is this the best approach? Let's explore more idiomatic and future-proof ways to handle this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To check if an object is a synthetic event in React, we can use a more reliable method than peering into the internals. A common approach is to check if the object has the persist method. This method is unique to synthetic events. Additionally, you can verify if the object has the native event property, which is also a characteristic of synthetic events. Combining these checks can provide a robust solution. Here's how you can implement it. This method is more idiomatic and future-proof, ensuring compatibility with future versions of React. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check if an object is a synthetic event, simply compare its constructor name. You can do this by using the expression ob.constructor.name colpical synthetic event. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.